Hey, good morning, everybody. John Chick here. Appreciate you joining me again. Uh, we got, uh, I already did my dynamic warm up. Uh, just getting after it here. Today we got a chipper. So I got, uh, oh, actually, I'll just show you the workout here. Got a 500 meter run, 50 wall ball shots, 20 barbell rollouts, 50 burpees, 50 good mornings, 15 barbell rollouts, 50 kettlebell swings, 50 reverse barbell rows, 10 barbell rollouts. 50 broad jumps, 50 slam balls, and five barbell rollouts, which again will equal uh, a total of 50 barbell rollouts. Um, so that is the work today. Again, we did a, I already did a good dynamic warm up while I was uh, studying the word with my wife this morning. I uh, got everything set up and just about to start here. It's going to start with the run. Uh, get my prayer here in a minute, but I uh, wanted to go over. Uh, just a little bit of today's word with you as well uh, was from Matthew 18 was our gospel reading today and basically uh, boiled down to forgiveness uh, Peter asked Jesus how many times we got to forgive our brother and what seven times and seven being a number of fulfillment or a completeness or uh, forever uh, Jesus responds 77 times meaning there is no amount that you can forgive enough. Uh, and it, then he goes on to tell a parable uh, why that is, uh, referring to himself. You know, this, this man uh, forgave a guy an insurmountable debt. And afterwards, uh, you know, the guy had begged that uh, he, he allow him time to pay his debt back. And so the, the heads... Uh, the head man said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll grant you your request. And the second that man left, he went to one of his debtors and demanded his debt be repaid right then and there. And the, that man's servant begged the same way he did to his servant, or to his master, except he didn't forgive him. And so uh, the moral of the parable was that we've already been forgiven insurmountable debts uh, in our life. You guys, no matter your faith, uh, no matter your walk, we all know that uh, we've been given a great grace. Uh, and so just an a encouragement to all of you today that uh, no matter who you're holding a grudge against, what wrong's been done you, all those kind of things, uh, doesn't do anyone any good to hold that resentment, to hold that anger. It doesn't mean don't be prudent. Uh, th there's a difference between prudence and forgiveness and uh, so you, you definitely, if someone keeps doing you wrong, don't keep going to the same guy that keeps doing you wrong, but don't hate, don't uh, condemn. Uh, that is only for God alone. And uh, to forgive uh, as often as you can. Uh, we are very blessed. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get on with my prayer here and uh, get on with the workout. God bless you.